In this video, we will discuss a new metaheuristic algorithm that is yellow saddle goatfish algorithm. This algorithm is basically inspired by the yellow saddle goatfish behavior and their hunting strategies they used for their survival in real life. So first we will discuss about yellow saddle goatfish, their behavior, hunting strategies they use for their survival in real life so that we can easily understand how this algorithm is working because this algorithm simulates yellow saddle goatfish behavior, their hunting strategies and different mathematical models are used and the mathematical models are designed based on yellow saddle goatfish behavior and their hunting strategies. So first we will try to understand about yellow saddle goatfish, their behavior and hunting strategies so that we can easily understand how this algorithm is working step by step. Yellow saddle goatfish algorithm is introduced in 2018. It is a bio-inspired population-based metaheuristic optimization algorithm that is basically inspired by the yellow saddle goatfish hunting behavior in real life. This algorithm performance is tested using different standard benchmark test functions and it is also applied to solve real-life engineering design problems and the algorithm results are compared with nine different well-known metaheuristic algorithms like particle swarm optimization algorithm, gray wolf optimization algorithm, artificial bee colony optimization algorithm, crow search algorithm, moth flame optimization algorithm and other. So we can use this algorithm to solve different engineering design problems. So first we will discuss about yellow saddle goatfish. So first as you can see here it is golden yellow color from head to tail. They are easily recognized by their variant colors and unique body shapes. About size you can see here they typically grow to a length of 7 to 10 inches that is 18 to 25 centimeters in wild but their length may be slightly smaller in captivity. Yellow saddle goatfish are native to Indo-Pacific regions include Red Sea, East Africa, Indian Oceans, Western and Central Pacific Oceans and they prefer living in coral reef environments and commonly found in shallow or sandy water near the reef. About diet in the wild they can eat small fishes, bombs and other and in captivity they are capped in salted water and feed on high quality flakes, frozen or living food about hunting. Yellow saddle goatfish they can perform individual hunt or group hunt. Often they are seen in groups and they hunt in groups because group hunting is better than individual hunt. When they hunt in groups there are a number of individuals who are searching for the prey so there is more food so it increases the chances of more food plus they explore the entire area and group hunting also provide protection from the predators in this algorithm yellow saddle goat face group hunting behavior is simulated that we will discuss in the upcoming slides so here we have the hunting behavior first as we already discussed they often hunt in groups so first they select the area for the hunt where there is maximum prey. So once the area is selected for the hunt, they divide into subgroups so that they can explore the entire area. And you can see here, now they are divided into the subgroups. Suppose we have here large group. Now they are divided into subgroups. Now you can see we have goat faces in the subgroup. Now during hunting in subgroups, they do not, do not interfere in each other territories and they often ignore subgroups except the one having more prey. So this hunting behavior is simulated in this algorithm. Now you can see we have subgroup. Now in each subgroup, goat faces have two different roles as chaser fish and the blocker fish. There is only one chaser fish in each group and other individuals are blocker fishes. As you can see here, the center one, we have chaser fish and around chaser fish, we have blocker fishes. So there is only one chaser fish in each group who lead the hunt 
and we have other blocker faces so during hunt when the target try to escape in the rock cracks or in the coral then the blocker faces block their roots so here we have just one chaser face and other blocker faces so this behavior is also simulated in this algorithm that we will discuss in the upcoming slides so now we have a group of code faces then they will select the area for the hunt once the area is selected we have subgroups and in each subgroup we have a number of goat faces and then they will perform the hunt now step by step we will try to understand how this algorithm is working step one we will initialize all the important parameters population size that is the total number of, that is the total number of search agents who will explore the search space and help to find out the best solution maximum iteration it means how many times the loop will repeat and after that it will display the best solution lower bound upper bound that is the search space boundary we need all the solutions within the search space so as we have virtual environment virtual search agents so we will consider the search space as the hunting area then we have dimension or you can say the number of design variables after that we need objective function if we are doing the minimization to perform either minimization or maximization after that we will initialize the position for each search agent in the search space randomly then using objective function calculate fitness values for each agent after that based on their fitness values we will rank the solution and save the best solution after that in step 5 we will partition the population into clusters as we discussed here they further divide into groups so here we will partition the population into clusters and in each group goat fish play two roles chaser fish and blocker fish now we will identify the chaser and the blocker fish then we have the main loop for this algorithm execute in step 8 execute chaser fish hunting routine then blocker fish blocking routine then calculate the fitness value for the new solutions then compare the fitness value of chaser fish and the blocker fish and then execute routine for the changing zone so when one area is completely exploited they will go to another area for hunt so here we will execute the routine for changing zone increment the counter if stopping condition is met stop and display the best solution else repeat the loop now step by step we will try to understand how this algorithm is working using example first step initialize all the important parameters like population size that is the total number of search agents suppose we have five search agents dimension and dimension suppose here we have two value for g lower bound is minus 10 upper bound is 10 objective function suppose we are using here the sphere function now we will initialize the position for the five search agent in the search space so here we are doing just for the first search agent value for i is 1 so we will initialize the position for the first search agent in the search space randomly using this equation we will initialize the position for each search agent randomly in the search space rand is here normally distributed random value within 0 and 1 this is upper bound lower bound so upper bound we have 10 lower bound minus 10 so put the values in the equation random number we have 0.51 into upper bound minus lower bound plus lower bound then we form then we got the first value 0.2 then here we have two design variables j is 2 the next for j is equal to 2 now for the first agent second dimension we have another random number 0.32 again lower upper bound minus lower bound plus lower bound and we got minus 3.6 so this is the randomly initialized position for the first search agent like that we will do for all the search agents after that using fitness function we will calculate the fitness value for each search agent in the current population suppose we are using here the sphere function so here using sphere function suppose we calculated 
Suppose we calculated fitness value for each search agent. Now, suppose we have the fitness value for the first agent 0.23, for second agent 3.02, for third agent 0.83, for fourth agent 2.16, fifth agent 0.41. Now, step 4, we will rank the solution and save global best. Here, if you are doing, now if you are doing minimization, then we will consider the minimum value among all as the best value. If you are doing the maximization, then we will consider the maximum value among all as the best value. Now suppose we are doing here minimization, suppose. So here among all this is the minimum value. So we consider this as the current global best and we will update this value in each iteration. Next, after that we will partition the population into clusters as we already discussed here. So as we already discussed here, we have a group of code face to select the area for the hunt. Then they further divide themselves into subgroups. So now we will partition the population into clusters that is groups. So now, so now we will partition the population into groups that is clusters. Clustering we already performed in different metaheuristics in elephant herding optimization algorithm, in suffolk frog lapping algorithm, and in text clustering. So in this algorithm, k-mean clustering algorithm is used here to form clusters. So we can use this method for partitioning data set into clusters. So here we have goat face population as the data set. The square error between the set of data points and the mean. K-mean is used to minimize the objective function using this equation. Now the clusters, now clusters are formed. Now in each cluster we will identify the chaser and the blocker fish. So we have one chaser fish. So as we already discussed, we have only one chaser fish in each group and the remaining ones are blocker faces. What we have here, the virtual environment, virtual goat faces. So based on the agent's fitness value, in step 3, you can see we calculated fitness value for each search agent. So based on their fitness value, we will select the chaser and the blocker face. So we will consider the agent having the best fitness value as the chaser fish and the remaining ones are blocker fish. So in each group, we will check their fitness values and the fitness value and the goat fish having the best fitness value is chaser fish and other blocker fish after that suppose current iteration is 1 maximum 500 condition is true start the main loop now we will initialize the so first we will calculate the new position for the chaser fish so there is only one chaser fish in each group who lead the hunt so first we will update the position for the chaser fish here this is the this is the new position here we have the older position alpha that is the step size. In this algorithm, Levis flight is used to model this behavior to generate random box. And here, beta that is the Levis index. And it controls the shape of probability distribution. And the value for beta we have this one. So using this equation, so using this equation, we will calculate the value for the chaser fish. But we cannot use this equation to update the position for the best chaser fish because if we will use this equation here when we will perform the subtraction the value will become zero and the best agent position will not change so we will use this equation to update the position for the best chaser fish and here the value for SDS we have this one after that we will execute the blocker fish blocking routine so blocker fish role is here to block the escape of prey when they try to hide in the cracks or in coral so here we have center here in the center you can see we have chaser fish and the other block of fish surround the chaser fish in spiral root and you can see here each block of fish has its own spiral path that is updated in each iteration so using this equation we will execute the block of fish blocking routine this is the new position for the block of fish and here dz that is the distance between the chaser fish 
that is the distance between the chaser fish and the blocker fish that we can calculate using this and to model this behavior logarithmic spiral is applied to the movement of blocker faces that is this one next we will calculate the fitness value for the updated solutions as we updated the new position for the blocker and the chaser fish now using the now again using the objective function we will calculate the fitness value for the new solution then we will compare the fitness value for the chaser fish and the blocker fish so as we discussed that we have only one chaser fish and the remaining we have the blocker fish during hunt the blocker fish role is to block the escape of target chaser fish lead the hunt and in case if there is any prey near to the blocker fish then that blocker fish will lead the hunt it will become now the chaser fish again i'm saying as we already discussed we have one chaser fish remaining are the blocker faces but in real life during hunt near if there is plenty of target near the blocker fish then we then that blocker fish become the chaser fish and that will lead the hunt now we have new chaser fish to simulate this behavior we will compare the fitness value for the chaser and the blocker faces in each group if any blocker fish having the best fitness value then the chaser fish then we will consider that blocker fish as the new chaser fish like that we will do for all the groups after that we will execute the routine for the changing zone if chaser fish fitness value is not improved then we will increment the value in q then we will check whether q is greater than lambda or not if condition is true then we will execute the routine for the changing zone it means when they selected one area for hunt when the when that area is completely exploited by hunting all the target now they need new area so that they can feed more now they need new area for the hunting so here we have routine for changing zone now they will change the now they will change their location now goat faces will change their location now they will move to new area and start hunting so this behavior is calculated using this equation after that we will increment the counter and if condition is true then stop and display the best solution you obtain in the last iteration else we will repeat this loop so first we will initialize the population for the search agents in the search space randomly using objective function calculate fitness value rank the solution say best among all after that we will partition the group into n clusters in each cluster after that in each cluster identify chaser and the blocker fish there is only one chaser fish and the remaining one are the blocker fish then start the main loop update the position for the chaser fish as they lead the hunt after that update the position for the blocker faces and then calculate the fitness value for the new solutions compare the fitness value if if any blocker fish obtain better fitness value than the chaser fish then we will consider the new chaser fish as that blocker fish after that when the area when one area is completely exploited they will move to another area for hunt so here we will execute the routine for changing zone stopping condition is met stop and display the best solution else repeat the loop until the stopping condition is met so that's all about this video if you have any questions you can comment below and thanks for watching this video